Good day, kids. How are you? I am Sir Kim, and welcome to our math class. Last week, pinag-aralan natin ang area of irregular figures and finding the area of triangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids. This week, magagamit natin yung natutunan natin doon. Our lesson for this week is routine and non-routine problems involving squares, rectangles, triangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids. At the end of this lesson, you're expected to solve routine and non-routine problems involving squares, rectangles, triangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids. Review muna natin kung paano kinukuha ang area of an irregular figure. Find the area of this irregular figure. You can pause the video and solve for the area. The area of this irregular figure is 19 square centimeters. Review naman natin ang mga formula in finding the area of square, rectangle, triangle, parallelogram, and trapezoid. What is the formula in finding the area of a square? Side time side. What is the formula in finding the area of a rectangle? Length times width. What is the formula in finding the area of a triangle? Area equals base times height divided by 2. What is the formula in finding the area of a parallelogram? Area equals base times height. What is the formula in finding the area of a trapezoid? Area equals open and close parenthesis, base 1 plus base 2 times height divided by 2. Ano nga ba ulit ang area? Area is a number of square units that covers the surface of a closed figure. It is measured in square units such as square centimeters, square feet, square inches, square meters, and etc. Natatandaan nyo pa ba ang agonsa? Yun din ang gagamitin natin sa lesson natin for this week. A stands for ask. What is ask in the problem? G, given. What are the given in the problem? O, operation. What operation or operations will you use in the problem? N, number sentence. What is a number sentence? S, solution. And A, answer. Let us read and answer this problem using a gonza. Mrs. Perez bought a rectangular-shaped dining table with a length of 4 meters and a width of 2 meters. What is its area? A. Ask Ano nga ba ang hinahanap sa problem? The area of a rectangular Dining table. Given. What are the given? Length, 4 meters. Width, 2 meters. Operation. What operation will be used? Since ang inahanap natin ay area ng rectangle, tayo ay gagamit ng multiplication. Next, number sentence. What is a number sentence? 4 meters times 2 meters equals N. Next, solution. I-multiply lang natin 
ang 4 meters and 2 meters. Eight square meters. Last answer. What is the answer to our problem? The area of Mrs. Perez's dining table is eight square meters. Let us try another example. But this time, ikaw naman ang sasagot. Kumuha ng isang papel at doon mo isulat ang iyong mga sagot. A wooden area is in the shape of a trapezoid whose basis measures 128 meters and 92 meters, and its height is 40 meters. What is its area? What is asked in the problem? What are the given? What operation will be used? What is the number sentence? What is the solution? Last, what is the answer to the problem? Now, you may begin answering the learning tasks. Learning task number one, read and solve the following problems. Use the four-step plan by supplying the needed information in each letter below. Bawat isang number ay may six answers. May sagot sa bawat letter ng agonsa. Do it on a separate sheet of paper. Learning task number two. Read and analyze each problem below. Then, answer the questions that follow. Learning task number 3. Read and solve each problem below. Dito naman, answers na lang isusulat. And for our final learning task, read each problem carefully. Use the four-step plan. Follow and use the pattern below to answer each problem. Gagamitin ulit natin agonsa sa bawat number. Sana ay naunawaan mo ang lesson natin this week. See you next week here in our math class.